on to the first question. This first question is from Linda. And Linda asks, she said, hi, David. I'm dealing with fear, worry, and impatience in my life. I'm praying and asking God uh, for those things to go away. But I'm finding that it's building up more and more in my life. What should I do? Linda, that's a great question. Um, I believe that there are times in which God takes away things that we ask. But I believe most of the time, the Lord wants to show us and expose uh, to us where we have made partnered or we've given place to things like fear or worry. Uh, and I believe he does that so that eventually we can give fear, worry, anxiety, and eviction notice. That is honestly way long overdue. The Bible says that God hasn't given you a spirit of fear. And so the fact is Jesus never give, has given us fear. He's never given us anxiety. He's never given us worry or impatience. So instead of asking the Lord to take away things that he never really gave us, I think we should ask him to fill us or you should ask him to fill you with the opposite of those things. What do I mean by that? Uh, let's go to Acts chapter 4. You see this portion of scripture where uh, John and Peter were arrested for preaching about Jesus. And they were brought uh, to be questioned by the council of rulers, elders, and teachers of the religious law. And after being interrogated and questioned, they were commanded to not preach about Jesus again. That, and so these guys, they're, they're released and they like, hey, let's pray. So instead of a quivering in fear, anxiety, and worry, Peter, John, and the believers gathered together to pray. And here's something that it's noteworthy. They didn't ask God to take away fear. Now, honestly, I'm sure after being arrested and then questioned and, and told to never preach about Jesus again, I'm sure there was some level of fear. But again, these guys didn't ask God, God, take away the fear from our hearts. But they did this. They asked God to fill them with boldness. And the Bible says that the place where they were praying was shook. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And as a result, they preached the word of God with great boldness. So again, instead of asking the Lord to take away these things, I, I want to challenge you. Ask him to fill you with the opposite of those very things like fear and worry. Ask him to fill you with boldness. Ask him to fill you with faith-filled prophetic anticipation. Ask him to fill you with patience and ask him to fill you with joy. Those are things that God can give you and he wants to give you. And truth be told, the more you align yourself to what he's saying over your life, the more you'll realize that he's already given these things to you and it's just a matter of you walking it out. Listen, Paul said this. He said, um, there was a thorn placed on my side and I asked the Lord to take this away from me three times. And he said, the Lord said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. So whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you're fighting, fear, anxiety, worry, just again, remember, ask the Lord to fill you with the exact opposite. Ask him to fill you with boldness, with with faith, ask him to fill you uh, with the things we just mentioned, but also remember that his grace is with you and his grace is sufficient for you. Guys, I hope this encouraged you. I hope it encouraged anyone that's bat battling fear, worry, anxiety. I hope uh, it challenges you to just pray for things like boldness and faithful anticipation that you walk this thing out. Guys, love you. Again, if you have questions, go to my website, reviveyourworld.org. Ask a question, and hey, you never know. It could be featured in next week's Ask David. Love you all. Talk to you later. And by the way, if this did encourage you, comment below. Share, share this. But really, comment. Let me know. I want to hear your feedback as well. Thank you all for joining in. Love you all. Have a great day.